My name is B Walk, and welcome back to Cop Your Coin, where I show you how to cop your coin in the fastest growing market in world history. As you know, I'd like to talk about different things on this channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the technical aspect of the market, being that we've seen to bounce a little bit here. I had a friend contact me and asked me if this was the bottom. Should I be picking this up? Should I should be moving forward? And I'm going to use three examples, specifically Bitcoin, Stellar Lumens, and Cardano as to kind of determine what we should be looking for and, and kind of help you decide when you should put your money to work. But as always, you know, I'm going to ask you to do three things, fam. I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and hit that alert button so that you know when fresh content is out from Cop Your Coin. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you already know that I like to start my videos talking about the coin market cap and talking about specifically where we are. Now, this doesn't mean every, everything as far as the technical aspect, but it does give you an idea of kind of the health of the market. So obviously we've been losing a lot of value. We had we're at 135 billion as a market cap. Now that's not that's that we're certainly off the lows because we know we bounce. If you look here, I think Bitcoin had gotten to a low of about 3,600, and I know that Stellar had been around 14 cents, and I believe Cardano was also around 35 uh, or three <laughs> three cents, a little bit three and a half cents at the low. And so you can see right here that those three coins are still remain in the in the top ten in the, of the coin market cap, and that's fine. But it kind of gives you an idea. So what I want to do is I want to jump over here to the Bitcoin chart real quick. Now this is not currently. This is on Trading View. It's a daily chart, but this is back in August of 2015. And what I want to draw your attention to is this line and this line right here. So this was after a precipitous downfall we had uh, earlier in that market. And as you can see, we had some volume come up and, and we had a rebound, some, somewhat similar. And I'm going to show you in a minute where we are today. And then we had another retest. And this is what I share with my friend. So typically to know where are down where you, if you had a bottom, you typically technicians like to talk, talk about double bottoms. Why is that important? Because you don't really know if it's a bottom unless you see that it actually has support. The only way you know that it has support is if it retests those lows. And so double bottoms don't have to be exact as you see because this is not the exact same level. Relatively speaking, I mean, this was probably about 194, 195, and this was about 208. So relatively speaking, it was in the same vicinity. As you can see, it. we have been falling down here, came down, double bottom tested, and then it didn't go right up, but it did start to move up. Okay, and so that's what we're looking for in today's market. Just a second, as I can go back to where we were. Okay, so this is at the beginning of, or this is at the end currently where we are right now, and I've drawn the same line here. Again, another down volume, we had down right here, we had this bounce. And as you can see, this last candle, although it started to move higher, and I said in my Instagram page that if it didn't close above 4,300, that we were destined to come back and test. And it looks like that's what we might do. We'll see. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we retest these lows at 3,600. So that's something to keep your eyes on. I always start with Bitcoin because that is the main dominant coin right now in this market. But as we look at the other, other coins, and I talked about XLM, you'll see a similar pattern. As you can see right here, same thing. Again, rounding out, I could draw the curve right there. Again, we, we've done that in the past. If you look at XLM in the past, we've had a double test. Boom, boom, another one there, and then it moved higher. Now, it didn't. It hit this trend line and, and kept, kept coming down. But I think once we eventually get out of this bear market, which we're currently in right now, I think we'll see some upside. It could be as early as next week. could be as late as next year. There's no telling. You just got to kind of stay tuned. But as I said, things don't happen overnight. It's not going to go from... 14, 15 cents per coin on Stellar Lumens to 30 cents overnight. <laughs> it, it's not going to happen. So you, as long as you're keeping paying attention, you will see the change happen. Finally, let's take a look at Cardano as well. And you can see this chart. I've drawn a, a number of trend lines, as you can see. But again, the same thing. You, we had found some port here right about the middle of three cents, about 35 cents. And again, it's bounced up and it's trying to make make a move higher. The the initial resistance, which was support at one time, it's about forty. Let's say about about five cents. Call it a nickel. 
I don't know if we're going to get quite that high before we retest this. We might. So the answer to the question to my friend and anyone else who else they're thinking, now's the time to be looking. If you see a project that you really want to jump on, I talked about Cardano and Stellar Lumen specifically because those are coins I really am very strong on. And I think that they're going to be, I think they're going to be winners in the future. Incidentally, we're going to talk a little bit more fundamentally in the next video about what, what to look for and why, why, I'm, why I'm bullish on those particular coins. But as you can see right here, technically speaking, they're sound and they we're getting ready to make a move. It's a little premature to say jump both in with both feet in. And I would hope that most of my savvy investors and traders out there are not jumping in right now just saying, I got to buy in. These prices are so low. Wait till the market gives you a reason to buy. Just because it's on sale, which is basically what it's been doing for the last, last three or four months, two months, that doesn't mean you go out and buy right now. You pick your spots, put a little money to work, then you'll like your results, okay? So question of the day, which coin do you think is going to rebound faster? Which, one, which chart do you think looks technically more sound? Cardano or XLM, Stellar Lumens, or even Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time on Copy Your Coin.